the mola. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero. It's a beautiful day. Let's soak up the sun. Ah, isn't this nice, Hero? Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Ranger. What do you have at the back of your truck, Ranger Rocky? It's a fish known as the mola. I'm bringing it back to the ocean. Oh, excuse me. Ranger Rocky speaking. Oh my, I'll come over right away. I have to rescue an elephant that has its foot caught in a trap. Can you Junior Rangers help me return the mola to its natural home? Yes, I can, but where does the mola live? Thank you, Leo. I'll call you again. Ranger Rocky, wait! Where do molas live? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mola! Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a mola that Ranger Rocky left in our garden. Hi, Leo. A mola? That's a strange-looking fish. Ranger Rocky asked us to return the mola to its natural home, but I don't know where that is. I've already started looking. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our fishy friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Katie, what have you found out about the mola? Hi, Leo. The mola is also known as the ocean sunfish, and its scientific name is mola mola. The word mola is a Latin word for millstone. A millstone is a circular stone that is used to grind grains. The mola sure looks like a millstone. Is it as heavy as one? An adult mola can weigh over 2,000 kilograms and can grow up to 4 meters tall. However, it has a very small mouth for a fish its size. Molas eat some small fish and squid, but its favorite food is jellyfish. Jellyfish normally sting, but molas are one of the few animals that can eat jellyfish without getting hurt. Wow, that's amazing! But Ranger Rocky wants us to bring it back to its natural home. So where is that? Well, the mola is also called the ocean sunfish because it lives in temperate and tropical waters of every ocean in the world. Hmm. We have to bring this mola back to its home in the tropical waters. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Hello, Junior Rangers. How are things going? We've just reached the coast and we're about to go into the water, Ranger Rocky. That's great, Leo. As you might know, the mola is also called an ocean sunfish. That's because molas like to sunbathe near the surface of the water. They warm themselves up before diving deeper into colder waters to look for food. Unfortunately, the mola's rough skin houses many parasites, which are tiny creatures that live on or inside another animal or plant. To remove these parasites, molas swim among coral reefs, where small fish live. These small fish eat the parasites on the mola's bodies. So if you want to find this mola a good home in the ocean, try to look for a place with coral reefs. 
Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a small island in the middle of the ocean. There's no sign of coral reefs here. And on this side are clear waters with coral reefs. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a small island with no sign of coral reefs. And over there are clear waters with coral reefs. So where should we go? There? That's right! We should head towards the clear waters with coral reefs. We'll find small fish that eat the mola's parasites there. Let's go! This looks like a nice spot to let the mola out. There you go, mola. Swim away and find your friends. Look, the mola is enjoying the sun. Oh no, those seagulls are pecking at the mola. Let's chase them away. Shoot, Shoot seagulls, seagulls, go away. Go away. Now there are more seagulls. Let's throw out some breadcrumbs. Maybe that will distract the seagulls. Yes, let's try that. It doesn't work. Katie and Hero, let's take out our propellers and chase these seagulls away. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Do not stop the seagulls, Junior Rangers. They are helping the mola. Besides small fish, molas often seek help from seagulls to remove parasites from their bodies. Then let's not disturb the seagulls anymore. We've returned the mola to the ocean, but it still needs to find food. Jellyfish are the mola's favorite food. So if you want to find food for the mola, just look for jellyfish in the ocean, not for a kettle of magic potion or a bottle of suntan lotion. But look for jellyfish in the ocean. I see. So not for a kettle of magic potion or a bottle of suntan lotion, but, but look, look for, for jellyfish, jellyfish in, in the, the ocean. ocean. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find food for the mola, you have to look for jellyfish in the ocean. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a swarm of jellyfish. What are those? They're spiky and definitely not jellyfish. Let's move on. Is that a jellyfish? No, it's a clear plastic bag. We'll make sure to clean that up later. Let's continue. What do we have here? These are jellyfish. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, Mola Mola. We did it. We found jellyfish for the Mola to eat. Great work, everyone. Yay! Yay! Rocky left a mola in our garden. We learned that small fish and seagulls help to get rid of parasites that live on molas, and that jellyfish are the mola's favorite food. So we brought the mola back to the ocean where it can eat a lot of jellyfish. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you.